Hi, I'm Fred Andersky with Bendix. Congratulations on adding a critical Bendix active safety technology to your IC bus. You're taking the next step to help keep our highway safer for everyone who shares the road. This video will help you better understand the alerts and interventions you may hear, see, and feel when driving your IC bus equipped with Bendix Wingman Fusion with enhanced features, collision mitigation technology, and standard Bendix ESP full stability technology. The latest enhancements to the powerful Wingman Fusion technology continue to help advance school bus safety with the integration of camera, radar, and full stability braking for a higher level of performance. Keep in mind that these are driver assistance technologies. Bendix safety technologies, like Wingman Fusion, complement safe driving practices. Your safe driving, safe driving habits, and participation in ongoing driver training are essential to help ensure safety. Remember, you are in control of the vehicle at all times, and your goal is not to have the system intervene. Let's start with full stability, Bendix ESP. Bendix ESP uses additional sensors built into the Anti-Lock Braking System, or ABS, to help you mitigate rollover and loss of control situations. ESP monitors your intended speed and direction, along with the actual speed and direction of your school bus. When these aren't in alignment, and depending on the severity of the situation, Bendix ESP may intervene by reducing throttle and, if necessary, selectively applying the brakes to help you maintain control on a slick surface. Keep in mind, however, that stability control has limits. It is possible to go into a situation with too much speed. While the system will intervene, the laws of physics may take over and you may still roll over or lose control. Again, drive normally and drive safely. Now, let's talk about the collision mitigation technology on your IC bus. Bendix Wingman Fusion with enhanced features. As before, Fusion integrates a camera mounted on your windshield and a radar mounted in the center of the bumper. Together, these two sensors deliver information into the system to provide you with alerts and interventions to help you mitigate rear-end collisions. The Driver Interface Unit, or DIU, mounted on the top of the dash of your IC bus will deliver audible and visual Fusion system alerts. Before we get into the enhanced features, let's start with some of the situations and Fusion features you may already be familiar with. We'll begin with Active Cruise with Braking. The system is enabled when you set your cruise control speed. Bendix Wingman Fusion will help you maintain a set following distance behind the forward vehicle. Typically, this following distance is about 3.5 seconds. The system will do this by matching your speed with the forward vehicle or by maintaining your cruise control set speed if it is lower. If the forward vehicle starts to slow down and you don't respond, the Fusion system will intervene by reducing throttle, engaging the engine retarder, or applying the brakes to help you maintain the gap. Should a vehicle cut in front and accelerate away, the system does not view it as a threat, so it maintains your speed and will not alert. However, if a vehicle cuts in front of your bus and slows, such as when attempting to make an exit ramp or an abrupt turn, the system will alert and respond as noted earlier, helping you avoid a potential rear-end collision. The camera can also read speed limit signs, sending an overspeed or excessive speed alert. If traveling five miles per hour over the posted speed limit, Fusion provides an audible and visual alert. If you exceed the posted speed limit by 10 miles per hour or more, the system will deliver an audible and visual alert along with a haptic alert, a one second throttle reduction. Keep in mind, the Bendix Wingman Fusion System does not apply the brakes or try to lower your speed to match the posted speed limit. That's your job. If, however, you did receive an overspeed alert and braking comes on, it's likely another system intervening, such as stability control, for example. 
Next, following distance alerts or FDAs, the first line of defense to help you avoid rear-end collisions. These alerts occur whether you are in cruise control or not and let you know when the gap between your bus and the forward vehicle is closing. At 38 miles per hour or above, depending on the FDA configuration used, you will typically get two or three alerts, a close, closer, and finally, closest alert. At 37 miles per hour or below, you typically get one or two alerts, the closer and closest alert. Here's what happens on the road. On the DIU, you can see the gap measured in seconds to impact between your bus and the forward vehicle closing. Of course, don't be distracted by staring at the DIU. Keep your attention on what's happening in front of you. Here's the first or the close alert. The gap continues closing and the second alert, the closer alert, is delivered. You're getting pretty close now, so the third or closest following distance alert is given. You can eliminate these alerts by slowing to increase the gap between your bus and the forward vehicle. Now that we've covered some of the original features of Fusion, let's get into some of the enhanced features. One of the features of the Fusion system is enhanced collision mitigation braking. This feature can provide braking power earlier than previous versions. So, if the system determines a collision is likely, you will receive an impact alert a half second before the system cuts throttle and applies the brakes to help you avoid or lessen the impact of a potential rear-end collision. Remember, you are always in control of the bus and you can add more braking or steering to help avoid the potential collision. Now let's talk about the enhanced stationary vehicle braking feature of Wingman Fusion. If your bus is driving on the road and Fusion detects a stationary vehicle in the same lane, audible and visual alerts immediately warn you. Then, if necessary, Wingman Fusion's enhanced collision mitigation braking can apply full braking power to help you mitigate or possibly lessen the severity of a potential crash. You can add additional braking or, depending on traffic conditions, steer the bus to help avoid the collision. If Fusion cannot identify the forward object as a vehicle, the system can provide only a stationary object alert, which you will need to respond to in order to mitigate the collision situation. Because Wingman Fusion uses a camera, you get alerts otherwise not available on radar-only systems. In addition to the overspeed alert we discussed a moment ago, one of those additional alerts is lane departure warning. Let me explain. The Fusion System camera reads the lines on the road, and if you drift out of your lane by six inches left or right, audible and visual alerts are delivered. These alerts may help you avoid a sideswipe collision with a vehicle in the other lane. If you signal the lane change by using your turn signal, the alert is suppressed. One note, always check your mirrors before making a lane change to ensure the lane you are entering is clear. Now, if the lines in the road are unclear, like in work zones, this can, at times, lead to excessive lane departure warning alerts. You can deactivate the alert by pressing this button. Lane departure warning is then suppressed for 15 minutes or until you press the button again. This switch will also suppress lane keep assist, highway departure warning, and braking functions at the same time. Also, keep in mind that lane departure warning is looking for lane markings. If the lane markings are covered, such as by snow, worn, faded, or not clearly visible to the camera, LDW won't be activated. When driving and you're faced with a situation where you attempt to swerve into an adjacent lane to avoid a potential impact and that lane is occupied by another vehicle or detectable large object, the Fusion System's Multi-Lane Autonomous Emergency Braking activates. This feature means that Fusion will continue to apply the vehicle brakes to help mitigate both the first and potentially second collision situations. The Highway Departure Warning and Braking Enhanced feature of Wingman Fusion detects if the bus unintentionally leaves the roadway, 
by using the camera to track the road surface markings and monitor the turn signal, similar to lane departure warning. The system can deliver alerts if you cross the fog line. In addition to the audible and visual warning sent through your DIU, the system can actively break the vehicle when a highway departure occurs and you don't respond. Fusion helps you slow the speed of the bus and it can help bring the bus to a stop under certain circumstances to help mitigate a severe road departure event. Finally, Wingman Fusion's Active Cruise with Braking Auto Resume feature automatically re-engages cruise control after active cruise control braking as long as the vehicle is still above the minimum cruise control set speed. Now you'll have to resume cruise control in fewer situations, a nice driver convenience feature. If the vehicle is below the minimum defined cruise control set speed, the bus will automatically cancel cruise control and will not attempt to accelerate up to the previously set cruise control set speed. For optimal system performance, work with your maintenance team to ensure your tires and brakes are in good operating condition. Here's a couple of things to keep in mind. First, if the anti-lock braking system light is on, meaning ABS is faulted, you will still have braking, but you will not have ABS stability control or collision mitigation available. Have the ABS repaired as soon as possible, preferably before going out on the road. Second, if the stability system light is on, meaning stability control is faulted, you will still have ABS, but will not have collision mitigation braking or stability control. Have stability control repaired as soon as possible, again, preferably before going out on the road. And finally, should you receive a collision mitigation system fault on the road, pull over to a safe area. Then, check the radar and camera for anything that may be blocking them, such as dirt, mud, snow, or ice. Remove any obstruction, making sure both the radar and the windshield are clean. The fault should go away. If it doesn't, get the bus in for repair as soon as possible. I started off the video with this reminder, but it bears repeating. Always remember, you remain in control of your bus at all times. Bendix Safety Technologies complement safe driving practices. The systems we just covered are driver assistance, not driver replacement technologies. Your safe driving, safe driving habits, and ongoing training are critical to help ensure safety on the road. For additional details, please reference your operator's manual and the Wingman Fusion Quick Reference Guide, or visit Bendix.com for additional information.